Well, hello everybody. My name is Mr. Lee David Carter, and as you can see, I'm in the beautiful town of Clacton on Sea in Essex, basically, um, and have a great connection here and have done for many years. And I'm taking taking a walk, having a stroll through the countryside. You can see how beautiful it is. It's a new retail park there. Lots of greenery behind me. Big lake. Just how nice it is. So I wanted to talk about who I am and events that are happening this week. I'm an author advocate and a fierce voice for the LGBTQ. I'm a trans man and I'm a member of the Clacton Pride Committee. I remember that Clacton Pride started off in 2019 in which um, the chairman Cheryl wanted to, she asked the community what it is they wanted to bring to the community. And many of the people uh, came back and suggested Pride, which I thought needed to be done because this has become a tourist spot. And, and I think it was beneficial that something like this was done for the community here in Clacton because it brings communities together, it shows awareness, it brings in inclusion, diversity and equality um, and also you know, being able to educate people out of ignorance which I think is really important um, and most of all. Uh, so yeah, I thought it was an important part of the community, an important element should I say. And I'm here as a trans man, and I remember back in uh, 2021, last year, um, it was just basically storms in the in the town centre square. And there was a press release last year, and we did a, a lot of storms. We got local communities and businesses involved in organisations, both big and small. Um, and obviously due to COVID there was a lot of delays, it was done on YouTube online 2020 and then this year we're having our first ever big Cats and Pride event. So now the event is on, it's this week, um, 2nd of July, starts at 9, 10am, finishes at 8pm in the evening, it's a stage full of events uh, where there'll be Sure, Gaga, um, Queen, Katy Perry, lots of different bands and groups and artists coming on to perform and there'll be a store area, food area, food hall, it's free entry to come in as well, um, children's area, fun play area, families and lots of events and quizzes and all kinds of fun and games going on. Um, and basically after that there'll be an after party, starts at 9pm, finishes at till late basically fun games laughter drag so forth that would be at my big fat greek um which you if you go to captain official on facebook you'll find all the details and information on there um and that'll be on till late hours and yeah if you go on to eventbrite you can obtain the tickets it's a 10 pound a ticket all funding goes to captain pride next year so and you know it all for a good cause, should I say. Um, and a little bit about me. Um, I'll be setting up a stall now, uh, setting up shop, uh, books, being an author. I uh, appeared on C4 in May this year, filming on location last year, and collected on C two and a half months and so forth. So, and it's very current to the film that was released. Uh, my story, um, first book, in a child with Lisa talks about Lisa Tully suffering with a, a gender identity crisis, this being dysphoria. And I've come here now to follow my purpose, to be of service to others and to help people when it comes to gender identity and gender related themes. And I don't want anybody to go through the same fate that I went through. So I want to be able to share all my knowledge and experiences and be, and be able to help others um, to achieve their highest potential and to be a light for the world and to bring positive change into the world because the second book, Transmangelic, um, it talks about dysphoria and all the factors and elements surrounding that like being outed, all the emotions, the feelings of dysphoria, being assigned a particular gender at birth, be it male or female 
and assigned that sex at birth, but feeling like the opposite sex, whereby there's a mismatch in their gender identity. Um, so I've come here to talk about all this and to help people, um, all those people that are suffering with abuse or trauma, that's in the second book, and it talks about the road to recovery and the tools and techniques that you can use to recover from all of that and how meditation works. And it's a healing process. And I've done all my healing. I don't feel any pain anymore. It's a long process. All the challenges that I've had to go through was extremely difficult. But I did get there in the end. And that I used the power of spirit and meditation in order to achieve that. So I've come here now to help people to manifest what you want into your life, to reach your highest potential and to be who you are and live your purpose despite all the challenges that you go through. So I've come here um, to use my gifts and my knowledge and my experiences to help others, those suffering with dysphoria, which is a main big part of the story, um, being able to help them um, overcome all the challenges that they're facing, the coping mechanisms, all the emotions, their feelings, the support, um, the process of going through it all, you know, whether it be gender reassignment surgery or um, whether it's just, you know, the top surgery or the bottom surgery or whether it's just the hormones basically, or just not the surgery, but just the hormones. It's, you know, my job here is to help people, to be of service to others. I've come here to bring positive change into the world, um, to be a light for others. Um, and then, of course, there's the abuse and trauma and anybody that's suffering that as well, um, based on my experiences, how you can overcome it and, and, and be happy and content and not worry about um, what people may say, what people may think, um, being able to um, overcome and, and achieve all those barriers, all those challenges that one goes through and all the symptoms and the emotions and the feelings that one goes through. Um, and being able to overcome all of that and to stand in your power and reach your highest potential. And that's my job here, to help people and guide people um, and just by being, just by speaking to people. I'm a fierce voice here. So this is my job. So I wanted to talk about this. This event is coming up this week, Saturday, 2nd of July. Um, I'm gonna be there. I'm a part of the committee and um, you know, I was in town yesterday, and um, and this guy came up to me. With, he was with his wife and children, and he said, "I saw you in Channel Four last month." And I went, "Yeah." He went, "Good, good on you. Good job. You're doing a great job." And they had their children in the car, and we just started chatting away. And uh, I thought, "Yeah, great. You know, uh, it's you know, people are watching and." You know, and they're looking at this and they're thinking, great, you know, I'm spreading the light, I'm helping people. And, um, yeah, I know I'm getting the job done here. People are watching and they're saying, great, this is good. Well done, you know. Um, because the world needs to change. Um, there's too much abuse and discrimination in the world and uh, ignorance. And, you know, speaking from spirit, from the divine perspective, people need to change, you know, you know, after um, uh, the documentary being aired on C4 in May, it makes you see things in a different perspective, that people need to start questioning on how they perceive people and things around their life. Um, and what you call masculine and masculinity and, and the imperative biological things of it. Um, to start questioning now how the world is changing, to bring in positive change without kind of, without making judgments or discrimination against people, <laughs> no matter what gender, what ethic, what race or background, to start thinking differently with love and respect. Um, is that a lot to ask for? Not really. We're just all living our lives, you know, just different. We're not all the same. And you just need to step back and just try and have a little bit more empathy towards others and people and situations and, you know, and just show respect. And, yeah, to all you out there that are going through 
um, a trans issue, trans community, um, LGBTQ. Be proud of who you are. Remember who you are. And most importantly, love yourself. It's your life. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to say love and light. Namaste to all. And yeah, get out there, shout out. And I'll be at the event Saturday with lots of surprises in store. So bye for now. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.